So let's get on with our conversation. And we can be pre-selling your book, so mining the air. If you can step us through what you intend to cover in your book, that would be perhaps a good place to start. Uh, yes, well, I think what I'd start with is to say, examine first how good we are or how bad we are at, at uh, reducing CO2 emissions. And when it's, it, it should be very clear from, all the statistics and uh, all the projections that we're very bad at reducing carbon emissions. But we don't want to admit it because we rather hope that with a little bit here and a little bit there, we'll get the carbon emissions down to the point where it won't cause massive climatic damage. The problem is we can't, and, it, and we can't get it down that fast. It, it will cause massive climatic damage then we have to think that we must apply some kind of um, geoengineering technique. And there are many techniques being proposed, which I think need to be examined and, if necessary, rejected. And um, sadly, the one that's most attractive in terms of not messing up the planet is afforestation, where you plant lots and lots of trees. Uh, and Th that uh, gives you an increase in, in carbon dioxide absorption. The trouble is that, firstly, we're getting rid of forests at a rapid rate, so we're fighting against ourselves. We're trying to build forests in one place and cut them down in some other place, and that's not a good idea. And secondly, the area involved would be so great that it would seriously impact crop production. You'd have to have about a third of the planet given over to forests, which is which is not what the, the planet naturally wants to have and not what we would want to have in terms of food production. So afforestation, nice as it sounds, let's plant a billion trees, is not going to work. It, it, it won't work fast enough. When you say it's not what the planet wants to have, are you, are you talking about not what society wants to have or you think it's, it's disruptive to the ecosphere, the biosphere, to have more trees? I don't, I'm not quite clear on that. Uh, I think it's the ecosphere mainly. There are natural vegetations in uh, in the planet, although less and less of the planet has got its natural vegetation. But when you when you study geography at school, you learn about natural vegetation in particular uh, climate regimes and uh, forest, whether it's um, tropical forest or, or or boreal forest, is is only a certain fraction of the planet's surface. So if you try to plant more, you're, you're trying to plant trees where trees don't naturally grow. So there's only a certain fraction of the planet's area that would take to forest, and much of that has already been cut down and turned into farming land or cities. And so the, the scope for increasing radically the area of forest on the planet is not that great. Before you go on, if, if I can say a word about that, that forest conundrum, um, it's again, it's insanity to me that we are cutting down forests as fast as we can in some places. Um, and the common thread, why are we cutting down these forests? Um, for money. I mean, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about subsistence farming, although that probably is a component. I'm talking about uh, soybeans for McDonald's hamburgers, uh, no offense McDonald's, or yes, offense McDonald's, Burger King, and all the other chains. We're not talking about ethics there. We're talking about, about how can we be so blind. So we're cutting down the natural forests, the Amazon, uh, the uh, Indonesian forests, to grow oil palm, wait, oil palm for our candy bars and such. We need to make the connections that the way we consume those things it needs to change. We, we have to stop cutting down forests. We have to disincentivize other people cutting down forests. We must. I agree with you there. And, and of course, there are, there are further pathways there that are even more revolting because cutting down, say, the, the, uh, the forests in Southeast Asia, the initial destruction is purely greed because there's a lot of hardwood in those forests, really tropical hardwoods. So you, you've got teak is an incredibly valuable hardwood, uh, and that is produced when you cut down a forest. It doesn't, it doesn't produ be produced again because the forest's gone. 
uh, then you use that forest land to for for animal husbandry or for growing soybeans. I neither of which are are really of vital needs for for humanity, and the forest is gone. So it, it's it's a tragedy uh, based on human stupidity and greed, and um, you feel as in so many cases that the human race really doesn't doesn't deserve to survive if that's the sort of thing it does uh, you just have to hope that that uh, intelligence and sanity will prevail